Hi guys, this is Rachel from Tiermar Farms. So earlier today my family and I took some Christmas card pictures. So I figured while I already have makeup on and my hair done, I might as well sit down and do a video I've been thinking about doing for a while. Um, so it's a little later in the day. Um, I had to go to work this afternoon, which is what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, so I'm just sitting down by the fireside, which isn't currently on because it's a little warm um, right now. But I just wanted to take a minute to talk about working a full-time job while homesteading. What that entails and can it be done and just my general experiences with working a full-time job while homesteading. I wanted to take just a, a, little, minute, a little minute to um, talk about why I'm starting to do more videos. I think generally as far as personality types go there are a couple different kinds of people in the world. There are people who are better at talking um, verbally and communicating in that way and there are people who are better at writing. Um, I've always been the latter. I've always been um, very introverted um, and a lot better at writing out my ideas and communicating through written word than through spoken word. Um, so that's why I blog because that's one of my favorite ways of just sharing what's going on in my life and what we're doing on the homestead and just getting out ideas and everything like that. But um, there's two really main reasons, uh, maybe two and a half, that I've started doing some videos. Uh, the first one is it's just you know it's just easier sometimes to film than it is to write and it takes less time than taking all the pictures for the the blog editing all the pictures and then writing the blog and then proofreading the blog and editing it and getting everything just right so the videos can be a lot easier sometimes um, reason number two is just that you know in some things it is easier to get across in a video than in pictures and writing. Um, some people also are better at um, learning or understanding things visually and by hearing it than they are by reading it. So video really just lets you kind of show things in real time, I guess you could say, um, as how you're doing things as you're going along and really giving people a really good visualization of what you're talking about. Oh, you're probably hearing Sophie bark right now. She must see something outside the window. Um, now you hush. No, we are filming. Anyway, um, so those are the two main reasons and then the reason and a half is that I did recently get a better camera than what I've been working with. I had a pretty decent camera and I dropped it in a creek <laughs> when I slipped on a rock and me and the camera went down. And that happened uh, last year. So I've been without a pretty good camera for a while and then I got this one that I'm using now for my birthday this year. So I have easier means of filming now too and better means of filming than I had before. But right now I wanted to just have a nice little fireside chat about working a homestead and also working a job. Um, my schedule has never been 100% homesteading. I would love for that to be the case. In fact, that's my goal. I would like to farm full time and that be my income, but that's never been the case. Um, when I started homesteading in 2008, when I first got my first two goats, um, I was a freshman in college. So since that point in time, uh, most of my homesteading life has been while I was in college or I did also spend a year in graduate school. Um, and then after that I did work part-time for a long time um, and doing like odd job kind of things like I would farm sit a lot, I would clean houses I and mean, different things like that. Um, and now this year, early early this year, I got a uh, my the job I have now and at first I was doing it part-time as well um, and now starting in September I started working full-time with this job 
but I just wanted to take a moment and talk about my personal experiences with working full-time now um, and homesteading at the same time because this is the first time I've done that. This is the first time I've had a true full-time job and a homestead at the same time. Um, first, the first thing I want to say is if you're wondering if you have a full-time job right now and you don't have a homestead yet and you're wondering can I homestead and work a full-time job? The answer is yes. It all comes down to your priorities. If it's something that you want to do, if it's a priority for you, you're going to find a way to do it. If it's something that you're really committed to, that you really like, you will make time for it. Um, so saying, I don't have time, sometimes that's a legitimate response. Um, there have been times when I've had to say, no, I can't do that right now, I don't have time. But more often, what you're really saying, rather than I don't have time, is that's not my priority. So any time, really, that we're saying, I don't have time to do that, we're really saying, that's not my top priority right now. These other things are taking priority and they have to be done first, and I can't but do that right now. If you really want to homestead, even if you're in a place where you don't have a lot of time, you can take steps toward homesteading now. Um, it just depends on if that's your priority or not. So, if it's your priority and you want to homestead and you're working a full-time job, my first piece of advice would be just start slow. If you're not homesteading yet, and you're working, then start slow. Start with a garden or chickens and build into it slowly. Um, don't dive in first, like head first into, well, I'm gonna have a cow, and I'm gonna have chickens, and I'm gonna have pigs, and I'm gonna have goats, and I'm gonna have a garden, and I'm going to do aquaponics in my basement. And you know, just take it step by step and see how much you really want to do, how much you can really handle. Give yourself time to adjust. Give yourself time to learn how to do one thing and do it really well and then go into doing other things. Um, personally, I did that a little bit in some ways. Um, for the majority of the time I've been homesteading, it's primarily been goats and chickens. And that's basically been the most of what I've had was goats, chickens, and a garden. I'm kind of a brown thumb, so the garden was a, um, a really big success story. But it's been stable at being, you know, goats and chickens for a while. This year, um, we added pigs and rabbits. So we added two new species to the homestead this year. And it just so happened that we also... Um, this was also the year that I started working full time, so it kind of got a little crazy there for a while, like adding two new species of animals and still working full time and still doing things like farm sitting because I farm, I had many farm sitting and pet sitting jobs this year too. And so some days it would get really crazy because I'd be taking care of the homestead and taking care of someone else's homestead and then going to my job and it was just kind of crazy and it's really easy to get overwhelmed when you're trying to do too many things at one time and um, you end up like getting you just get overwhelmed you get too stressed out um, there's too much on your plate you can't eat it all <laughs> um, and you end up doing um, certain things not as well as you would have otherwise and different things like that. Um, so you've got to understand your own limitations, set realistic expectations for yourself, and don't try to do more than what you can realistically do. Um, just keep in mind, you know, you do have to take care of yourself too. You can't just do and do and do for other people and um, you know even just work on your homestead or at your job and then working for other people and everything like that you can only do so much you can only do what you that's can another do and that's another okay. piece of advice if you will is just to decide what you're going to do when you're going to do it and just do it don't make 
um, excuses for yourself that, well, um, this came up, I don't really need to do that today, I'll put it off. Because inevitably, if you put it off, it doesn't get done um, in a timely manner. And um, like the goats drawing their blood, I could have drawn it 30 days ago. Um, it's not a really big deal because it wasn't something that was just like urgent that had to be done right now. But, um, you know, it's one of those things that just got pushed back and pushed back because of other things that were coming up, other things we needed to do during that time when we were off, um, when there was more than one of us off and we had things to do as a group. So it just kind of got pushed aside for a little while. Not a big deal, not a time sensitive manner or, or matter, but it's an example of how, you know, sometimes you have to just choose, I'm going to do this today and then go do it. Especially if you're working a job because if you say, well, I'm tired today and I don't want to do it, well, you're going to be tired the next day too. <laughs> you're not going to um, magically one weekend not be tired after working. So you just have to kind of push through and decide even when you're tired or even when something else comes up, you just got to take the time to do it. Just take um, the time and to do it. There is a difference there in between liking something and really having a passion for it as well. So if you're constricted for time, I guess we'll call this advice number three since we're numbering things. If you're constricted for time, then pick the things that you're really passionate about. So just choose what you yourself really like to do, what you're really passionate about, and start with that and get really good at that and move slowly and then add on slowly as you can do it, um, as you have the time and the resources. You've got to have goals. You've got to decide what it is you want and then you've got to work toward it and go from there. I really do believe that if you are steadfast in your goals and you know what you want to do and you work toward it, that you but will eventually I think get there. That's about all I have to talk about today. This is probably very rambly and probably boring. I don't know, but I, you know, I wanted it to be a little bit like we were having just a conversation by the fireside. It's turned on now. Since I think I've been talking like a really long time. But thank you for watching. Um, if you would like, you can subscribe down below and um, follow me on Facebook as well and my blog. On Facebook, it's facebook.com slash Farms, and my blog is tiramarhomestead.com. So thanks for being here. I'll see you around next time.